In today's Your Healthy Family, if your New Year's resolution to lose weight has failed, well, what better time to reset and try again than the first day of spring? 58-year-old Angela Gaynor has, like so many of us, been on a weight loss roller coaster for most of her life. I tried um, paleo, keto, um, metabolic research center, I tried the blood type diet. Um, I tried intermittent fasting. So many things that work so well for a lot of people did not work for me. Then along came a new challenge. Menopause hit and then, you know, you chub up and, and like a lot of people, so you gain a little bit more than you had before. Yeah. And then you think, I don't know what to do anymore. Dr. Kristen Kell says, for most people, the way we gain weight changes as we age and our hormones change through menopause. Menopause, it's very real and our hormone levels decline, they age. We work specifically with nutraceuticals, amino acids, herbs to help boost that and the food plan helps boost those anti-aging hormones. But there is some reality there that most people will gain weight during it and it's belly fat. That's a completely different beast than uh, fat under the skin. Angela says the foundation, structure, and accountability of Dr. Kell's program have all led her to an overall improved lifestyle and mindset. The thing for me that I um, so appreciated, Dr. Kell's program is about quality food. Anything that did not include that was not something I would ever try again. So that was the first thing for me. Here is a program that's nutritionally sound and quality food. It's like, I can do this. And I wasn't hungry at night. That was huge for me. That was really big to not be craving food at night. I'm a very, very slow loser. I'm still losing slowly. This is how I knew this was A, sustainable and B, changing more than just um, the, you know, the quantity of food I ate at what time of day. It wasn't just that. It was when I had a, a really traumatic experience. When emotional challenges hit, it can be so easy to fall back on comfort foods and off the wagon. When just such a challenge came Angela's way, rather than caving in, she discovered something new about herself. When I had a, a really traumatic experience, um, when a friend of mine was murdered and then another friend was arrested for that murder. That was completely shocking. I was, I was in the middle of it in the sense I was helping take care of um, the arrested person's children for a short time, whatever. Um, so I was right in the middle of it and I found myself uh, standing in front of the freezer. Like I don't remember walking to the freezer and opening it, but there I was looking at the coffee ice cream, which is the holy grail, let me tell you. Um, nothing is bad anymore in life when you have coffee ice cream. Um, and so I, I looked at that and then the thought occurred to me and it was real and it came from inside and it said, this isn't going to help. This won't help. You could do it, nobody would blame you. You could call up the office and go, guess what happened to me? And I fell off the wagon and they go, yeah, I'm thinking, but that's, I just was able to look at it and go, yeah, this isn't going to make, it's not going to get me where I want to go. And so I did have some extra food, but it was green beans. They did that. Green beans. Who knew? It was like, yeah, I needed a little to be a little fuller in that moment. So yeah, I still used food, if you will. But you know, it, it was just the understanding that my whole life, although I could know intellectually that those things that I crave are not really going to help, to be able to have the pause and to say, I don't crave that enough anymore to have it be something that I even want. I'm proud of all of my clients, no matter what their journey looks like the ups and the downs, we love them to bits and there's never shame or judgment. Angela is so amazing in the sense that she took the time to understand herself in the process and to really engage. She's really engaged in what we're doing, the calls, um, the Facebook, you know, the, the texting with the coaches, follow-up meetings, super engaged. But what I think is so profound, and she, she'd never lost weight before, right, post-menopause. She's lost 35 pounds. But it's, it's that thing in her where it's bigger. It's so much more important. It's about aging well and having a great life. You know, it's crazy in the United States because we spend all these years building up wealth 
building up, uh, you know, ignoring our health for the sake of all those to do's, we hit 50 and we go, oh no. And we're scared. That's the truth. And so she's rebuilding her health as, as a whole. That is powerful. To learn more about Dr. Kell's weight loss program, feel free to contact them for your healthy family. I'm Ira Cronin. For more stories, head to yourhealthyfamily.com.